Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have continued fueling all the gossip and intrigue in the media following their exit from the firm, according to one royal commentator. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped down as working members of the royal family in the spring of 2020, three months after they released a bombshell statement saying they wished to carve out a new progressive role for themselves within the royal family. Their vision included a half-in, half-out solution which would have seen them living between North America and the UK and becoming financially independent from taxpayers while still carrying out official royal duties and visits to represent the late Queen. Since they stepped down, Meghan and Harry have often repeated they are continuing to live a life of service through their work, carried out both through single initiatives and via their non-profit organization, the Archuil Foundation. However, royal commentator Jonathan Sassardotti claimed the Duke and Duchess are also feeding the soap opera aspect naturally linked to royalty. He told Express.co.uk, I think soap opera is a very important aspect of royalty for us to consider when we speak about Meghan and Harry. There are many aspects to the royal family, there is constitutional, there is traditional, there is historical and there is unavoidably a soap opera side too. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are no longer senior royals, image, Getty, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have publicly spoken about their struggles within the firm, image, Getty, the British public consume all of these aspects of royalty with some gusto and soap opera is, like it or not, part of the role they represent. Meghan and Harry he added, have been carried on the soap opera side even after stepping down as working members of the firm through their public statements and revelations. By sharing pieces of information regarding what went on behind the scenes at the palace, providing details about conversations held with family members or speaking about negotiations regarding their exit, the Duke and Duchess give the idea of being fine with fueling the soap opera side of royalty, Mr. Sassardotti claimed. He said, all of these things are effectively part of the gossip and rumor now and they seem really fine fueling that, to the extent that Harry is due to publish his memoir soon. Which again, is massively interesting to people, mostly because they want the behind-the-scenes look, they want to know who said what to whom, how it was difficult. Read more, Harry and Meghan stun concertgoers with surprise appearance Meghan and Harry launched Archuil in late 2020, image, Getty, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry were last in the UK in September, image, Getty, it's why, Netflix, The Crown is so popular, because it shows a fictionalized version of what went on behind closed doors, these things are popular. Almost one year after the Duke and Duchess of Sussex spoed out of the firm as its working members, the pair sat down for a lengthy interview with Oprah Winfrey. Speaking with the US chat show Queen, Meghan launched allegations of racism and neglect against the firm, while Harry spoke about feeling let down by King Charles III. The pair also provided details about the behind-the-scenes of their discussions regarding their potential exit from the royal family as senior members, with the Duke denying claims he had blindsided Queen Elizabeth II with the announcement they shared in January 2020 regarding their future intentions and new role they desired. Don't miss Archie and Lilibet's titles to come with a caveat to reign in Harry, inside Prince William averse to Sussex's move as pick with Kate questioned, report royal expert details reason why Prince Harry will never return to UK, expert, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry got married in May 2018, image, express, a few weeks later, Prince Harry spoke publicly again about his family on two occasions, during an episode of the Armchair Expert podcast and in the mental health series he co-created titled The Me You Can't See. In both instances, the Duke appeared to criticize the way he had been raised by Prince Charles. Most recently, Meghan shared a few insights into her life as a senior royal in an interview with New York magazine The Cut, including the fact she and Harry were willing to go live in another Commonwealth nation because just by existing, we were upsetting the dynamic of the hierarchy. 
She also revealed she never had to sign anything that restricts me from talking, but she is choosing not to speak about her whole experience in the firm. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry live in California, image, Getty, trending the Duchess also appeared to criticize the palace in the first episode of her podcast series, Archetypes. In a conversation with Serena Williams, Meghan revealed that, during the first day of the Sussexes tour of South Africa, a fire had broken out in the nursery room where her son Archie Harrison was supposed to be sleeping in. The Duchess recalled how, after it had been clarified no one had been hurt, she and Harry were asked to carry on with their day of engagements, despite those at the residence being in shock following the incident, 